Hello friends, welcome to Vitish Academy and today I am going to prove a theorem on limit of a function. So we have to prove that limit x tends to a x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a is equal to n into a power n minus 1. So this can be used as a formula in order to solve the examples in our next videos. So we know that the expanded form of x power n minus a power n is x minus a into x power n minus 1 plus a x power n minus 2 plus so on plus a power n minus 1. Now let us transfer x minus a to the left hand side. So we get this as x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a is equal to x power n minus 1 plus a x power n minus 2 plus so on a power n minus 1. Now let us apply the limit x tends to a on both sides of this equation. So we get this as limit x tends to a x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a is equal to limit x tends to a x power n minus 1 plus a into x power n minus 2 plus so on plus a power n minus 1. Now let us simplify the RHS terms. Here let us apply the limit that is we have to substitute x value as a. So we get this as a power n minus 1 plus a into a power n minus 2 plus so on a power n minus 1. That implies we get this as a power n minus 1 and here when bases are equal the power should be added. So we get here a power n minus 2 plus 1 plus so on plus a power n minus 1. So we get this as a power n minus 1 plus a power n minus 1 plus so on a power n minus 1. So we observe that this term is added so on up to n factors. So this we can write as n into a power n minus 1. So therefore we can conclude that limit x tends to a x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a is given by n into a power n minus 1. So this is how we prove a theorem. And now let us solve an example based on the same concept. So let us find limit x tends to 3 of the function x cube minus 27 divided by x minus 3. And now here as the value of 27 is 3 cube we can write this as limit x tends to 3 x cube minus 3 cube divided by x minus 3. So now let us compare this with the formula. So we get here the n value as 3 and a value as 3. So formula here is n into a power n minus 1. So this would come as 3 into 3 power 3 minus 1. That implies we get 3 into 3 square and this would come as 3 into 9 that implies by multiplying 3 and 9 we get 27. So this is how we prove a theorem. Hope you understood this concept. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.